Right, this short video here is for Mike K on the EEV blog forum. Uh, he was just got a brand new oscilloscope, a new Regal, and he was complaining that he was seeing something uh, similar to this when uh, looking at the output of his Instec function generator on his scope that looked like the triggering was in, was kind of unstable and that he's seeing sometimes triggering on the rising edge of a sine wave or a triangle wave sometimes triggering on the falling edge and uh, so if we switch my function generator here over to a triangle wave I'm seeing the same kind of a thing whereas and uh, if we go to a square wave things look stable there's no uh, no issue uh, with instability it's always triggering on the rising edge so I think what's going on there Mike is not a problem with your scope I think it's really an issue that your function generator has so just as an example uh, you know I'm seeing the same kind of a thing here this function generator I've learned has got uh, some problems in the way it's generating the signal and what's going on and what's probably going on on your Instec box is that there is uh, we're, we're seeing some noise or, or disturbance on the rising and falling edges of the waveform with the square wave that edge is so fast that any disturbances that happen over time get uh, you really don't get to see because we don't, we're, we're going through them so quickly but uh, on the these ed these waveforms like a sine wave or a triangle wave where these edges are slower any disturbance that you have here might be enough to cause a trigger in the opposite direction of where you want it to be um, so a good way to look at this for example is to just zoom in vertically and horizontally so if we zoom in vertically by going to a smaller volts per division I'll just kind of zoom that in vertically here now I can kind of see kind of that double pattern because I'm triggering sometimes on the rising sometimes on the falling edge and let's zoom in horizontally to see why just change the horizontal sweep speed here and now it becomes real apparent I can see that 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 the edges have got this wiggle on them okay so each time the waveform approaches the trigger depending on where it is you know whether it's rising or falling sometimes you'll trigger on the, the rising edge of this little micro wiggle on the rising edge or sometimes triggering on, on the falling edge and I think that's what you're seeing and uh, and not uh, any particular problem with your scope it's really more of an issue with your signal generator and I think you mentioned that the Instec uh, is a I took a look at it is a direct digital synthesis box so it generates the waveforms digitally uh, by you know, sampling uh, by basically a, a D to A converter, a phase accumulator, and maybe it's adjusting sampler rate. But uh, because it's generated with samples, you can get those kinds of issues going on. I've got a second signal generator hooked up to this channel here. If I switch over to that one, we can see that one's nice and clean. This is a nice old, old analog signal generator, and we can see that uh, that this one, if we zoom in. You know, when I zoom in vertically here, I can see that this one is really nice and clean. There's no issues with it at all because the, the edges are, uh, are really nice and clean. I zoom in kind of vertically, horizontally here. I can see I've just got a nice clean edge. I'm always tri triggering on that rising edge. Okay. And uh, it's just because of, this is a, an, an older analog signal generator. Um, but this one here has got a little bit of problem with it that I need to go look at. But uh, I'm not sure if this, this one is a DDS or if it just has... Uh, some noise or disturbance on there that I need to go figure out. But I think that's what's going on with your, uh, with your scope, your setup there. And it's not so much an issue with your scope as it is with the function generator. So your, your scope is showing you something that maybe you didn't already, that you didn't know about your signal generator. And it really comes down to how much hysteresis there is in the trigger circuits. Um, you know, how much of a, you know, a window, if you will, that the trigger circuit is going to need to, you know, the, the signal's got to go through in the trigger circuit before we trigger. The less hysteresis you have in that, the less of a window that the trigger circuit is looking at, um, the more you'll see this type of an effect due to noise, or in this case, some, uh, some problem with the signal. So whether or not your SIGGEN is out of spec or not, I can't tell you, but I think that your scope is operating properly and just uncovering an issue that you probably didn't know your signal generator had. Anyway, I hope that helps and uh, at least to, to visually show you what I was trying to describe in the forum.